Hey guys, welcome to the new video of Theme Hunk. This video is dedicated to Visual Composer. Visual Composer is a popular page builder plugin for WordPress, allowing users to create custom layouts and designs for their website without needing to write code. It provides a drag and drop interface, allowing users to add and arrange elements such as text, images, videos, and widgets, and customize their appearance with various options and settings. Let's start from scratch. First, we need to install a theme. We will install Shopmania as it is an e-commerce theme with fast speed and responsive design. Open your WordPress dashboard. Go to Appearance. Click on Add New Theme. Search for Shopmania. Install and activate the theme. It is activated now. Now install the Visual Composer Page Builder plugin. Go to Plugin, click on Add New Plugin, and search for Visual Composer. Install and activate the plugin. After activation, you can spot the Visual Composer in this menu. If you are new and want a tutorial, then click on this button. Let's start creating a page. It gives a quick orientation about the page builder's tools and functions. These are layouts and these are pre-made pages down there. This is the first section we get. You can choose which kind of section you need to create your site. To add an element, click on the plus icon. Now you can choose what you want to insert there. There are lots of elements. You can enter buttons, JavaScript, media files, Google Maps, Instagram images, and even WordPress defaults. It allows the drag and drop functionality that makes it easy to build a website. Let's say I want a hero section here. Here it comes. Likewise, let's take another section. Any layout can be added easily, later we can insert the desired element. If you want to insert two elements in a single column, just drag the element and drop it on the side where you want it. These are layouts for single column, two column, three column, four column, five column, custom row, and text block. And this is for adding elements. This is used to paste a section or layout. Let's move to the page tools. This plus sign is used to add the elements. This opens the layers, which is a tree view. Here you can rearrange the order. Both buttons are for undo and redo operations. This is one of the most important tools of this page builder. This shows the inside of the page. You can see what can you do to improve the page. This section is used to collaborate with clients to make changes or give suggestions. This option helps a lot while making the site responsive. This allows you to view your site in different devices in both landscape and portrait mode. The Visual Composer Hub is the library of elements, templates, blocks, add-ons, stock images, etc. You can access all of them in a single place. These options are given to customize the page setting here. You can change the name of the page. These are the layouts. You can choose any of these. You can add some more sections like header, footer, and sidebar. These toggle buttons are to enable and disable the page title and search content. Moreover, click here to add a featured image. And these are the parent page, author, and discussion settings. The design section lets you customize the padding and margin along with the border and its radius. 
Down there you can adjust the background color and image. If you want to make some changes that are not given on site then custom CSS is used. This is the same as CSS but for JavaScript. The pop-up section lets you customize when you want the pop-up on your site. And this button, as said, will take you back to the dashboard. This tick icon saves the customization and previews the page. Let's see the settings. In general, we find settings for Gutenberg, responsive view, and other basic settings. With the reset button, you can reset all settings to default. This button is activated when your site is under maintenance. This page shows the status of the system. The license page is given to upgrade the plugin with the license key. Theme Builder allows you to customize the layout and header and footer settings. Various options are provided to set the header and footer designs. A separate setting is provided for header, footer, and sidebar. Font Manager helps to customize the fonts as they are crucial parts that improve the visuals of the site. The fonts and typography of each section can be customized separately. On the right side, the structure of the fonts of typography is demonstrated. Upside, a few device icons are given to control the typography for specific devices. All the global templates will be shown here after adding them. The pop-up builder section lets you choose when you want to show the pop-up. And all your pop-ups will be seen here. Role manager, as the name signifies, is to control who can access a particular thing on your site. You can assign various roles separately. If you want to import a file, you can do it from here. CSS and JavaScript allow you to add additional CSS and JavaScript to the site. Visual Composer Hub stores all the elements, templates, add-ins, Giphy, etc. Currently only limited are unlocked as we are using a free plugin. To upgrade the plugin to premium, click on Go Premium. From this page, you can proceed to buy the Visual Composer Pro plugin. After upgrading the plugin, you have to enter the license key here, so click on Activate Premium. Paste the key and click on Activate. The plugin is upgraded to Pro and all the elements and other blocks are unlocked now. Now we will build an e-commerce website with the help of its templates, so let's search for them. These are our templates, install the pages that we need. After a while, your pages should be downloaded. The first page we need to create is the home page. After opening it, click on Edit with Visual Composer. We have to clear the page before importing the template. To import the template, click on the plus icon and go to Templates. Here you will find all the downloaded templates. Choose the home page. It has come. Save and exit. We don't need to set the homepage again as we have customized the homepage not added new. To create other pages, go to Pages. Click on Add New with Visual Composer. Rename the page to your page name. Choose the blank page and click on Get Started. Open Templates and pick the menu page. Wait for Import. Once done, 
click on the tick icon. The page we created recently has come here. Let's create another page, which is a blog page. Rename the page, choose the blank page, and click on Get Started. Repeat the same process. Go to Templates and click on the blog page. After importing, save the page. Do the same for other pages. You can make the required changes also. All pages have been built. I am removing the page that we don't need. Now we have to add these pages to the menu. To do so, go to Appearance and click on Menus. Here the default name of the homepage is showing. Let me rename it to avoid any confusion. Rearrange the menus as per you. Check the main as we need these pages in the main menu and click on the Save menu. Let's see our site now. The site is well built but menu is not showing so to add the menu edit the page with Visual Composer. Here we need to add the menu element. Search for menu and drag and drop to location. You can select the menu from here if you have more than one menu, if not, it will take the main menu as default. Here it comes. The site is working well but the menu is not here as well. So we have to add the menu to each page. So after adding the menu to every page the site is ready, let's preview it. So this is how you can create an e-commerce website using Visual Composer. Thanks for watching.